Okay, let's go ahead and get that um, data from Excel into R. All right, so I'll open up my R console. Very quickly, I'm going to change my preferences here so that it, hopefully it'll be a little bit more visible. Um, it's also a little bit easier on me. There's a way I can make this permanent, um, but, um, and if you want to know how to do this, I'll, I'll let you know. But uh, Okay, so here's my R console, uh, a little bit bigger and more visible, hopefully. Um, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do is go ahead and, and open up my R Commander program. So that's uh, typing the word require, R-E-Q-U-I-R-E, -E, parentheses, capital R, C-M-D-R, and then hit enter. Oh, the other parentheses. So it opens up my R Commander. So <clears throat> I want to get my data from over here into over into here. So uh, I want to make sure my data is set up properly. Uh, it has a um, variable name in the top row, and then it has a whole bunch of numbers below that. So uh, let me go ahead and hit my shift control down arrow. It's going to select that entire um, set of data. Hit control C. That'll copy. You can see the little dancing ants. You can't let me make it bigger. Dancing ants. I love dancing ants. And then I, let me come back over here to my programs. And um, I come to the R Commander data tab. Import data from text file, clipboard, or URL. A little later on, we'll show you how to do Excel files. But right now, we have, have that data on the clipboard. And let's just call this capital CT for um, central tendency. That's what we're working on this week. So variable names in file, check that because it's there. Missing data indicator, I don't really need that. But if, if I had missing data, I would I would want to type in here whatever I typed in in my Excel sheet. So location of the data file is on the clipboard, field separator, white space, and then decimal point character is a period. So if you were in Europe, some other parts of the world, you might use a comma for that decimal point. And then click OK. Down here we can see that the data set CT has... 40 rows and one column. So, okay, so now let me go to the next step. <clears throat> um, up here in um, uh, Statistics tab, we have a thing called Summaries of Active Data Set. So we can hit that and we can see that it gets some of what we need for our assignment, the minimum, the median, and the mean, and then the maximum. But it also gives us some other things, the third quartile, the first quartile. Uh, we didn't really ask for that. But <clears throat> so what are we going to do? So um, let me go ahead and open up a script that I prepared for this um, earlier. Save time. Uh, called speed. So. What speed um, this script has in it is the commands. So um, let me hit Control R, which will run that command. Uh, summary: the summary command calculates a few basic statistics. We just saw that earlier, where it gives us the minimum, the maximum, the median, and the mean, plus those two interquartiles. Um, but it doesn't give us our variance. So uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and um, um, calculate those. So in order to, to, to write our um, 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 formulas in R, we need to know the name of the variable. And here we can see that the variable name is speed. So when I, when I want the mean, uh, I have to type in the name of the data set, 
well, the command, so it's mean, uh, parentheses, the name of the data set, which is capital C, capital T, dollar sign, then speed. And that will give me the uh, control R will give me my mean. Do the same thing for the median. Same thing for the minimum. Same things for the maximum. Same things for uh, the standard deviation and the variance. So a mean is just like it's spelled. Median, just like it's spelled. MIN will give you the minimum. MAX will the maximum. SD will give you standard deviation. And VAR will give you your variance. I could have, if I wanted to save a few keystrokes, then this attaching function. So A-T-T-A-C-H. Um, and, and what that does is it attaches that data set. Um, and then I could have um, typed in mean and then just simply speed. And it would have gotten me the, gotten me the, to the same place. Uh, so, you know, if you have a long data set name, uh, that might be good um, to, to, to remember to do that. So the one thing that we don't have is a range. So let me type in range of speed. And what I find here is my 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 range is from um, <clears throat> 10.86 uh, to um, 20.20. Well, that's that's nice, but what I actually wanted was the was the number. You know, uh, how much how much is it from the maximum to the minimum? So, uh, so what am I going to do? Well, I I can do. Uh, a couple could do this a couple of ways. The easiest way is to simply start off with um, um, uh, the the maximum, so max speed, and then put the minus sign, and then put minimum speed. Uh, and, and and you know this is uh, just math. And then I click Control. R, and then it it's it just does the math, so it gives me that gives me that difference uh, between the minimum and the maximum. So, um, so we can see that range gives us the minimum maximum. So if we wanted to save a step up here, we could have just put, used range, uh, <clears throat> but in order to get that numeric range that we were really looking for. We have to type that in. So um, let me exit out of there. I can save that. Um, if I want this uh, to go into my um, report, I can just um, copy and paste it. Come over here to my Word file. Copy and paste. So take a little cleaning up, but there, there's my answers. There, there's, there's what I did. So, all right. So much for for getting this in R. So, am I in now? <clears throat>